Yeah, it's finna get real surgical in this motherfucker, you dig? Look, tap in with your boy, cause I'm finna hit y'all like the Gap Band. And drop the bomb on y'all, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? No, I'm going to kill you. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yo, what's going on, y'all? How y'all living, man? Is everybody good? You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, let me go ahead and for the one time, take a take a good, quick look at y'all real fast. Huh? Is y'all straight? Because, Pete, man, we finna get active with this second episode. And first, I got to say thank y'all to everybody that was showing love in the Art of Flow video. Now, look, if you ain't peeped that one out, I suggest you go ahead and tap in with that one. Now, look, these are going to be an ongoing series. You don't have to watch these episodes in no specific order, but I am finna pick up from where I left off where we were talking about flow, right? And I felt like it only made sense. I had to do it something proper to go ahead and bring on episode two where we talking about rhythm. Now, look, I'm going to need y'all to listen up on this one, you dig? Pay close attention because I'm finna hit y'all with that truth. As a matter of fact, look, man. I'm going to bring the mic just a little bit closer so y'all can hear him motherfucking when I speak. You understand what I'm saying? But look, man, go ahead and get situated. As a matter of fact, take a seat. You know what I mean? Go ahead and relax a little bit. Just let it all go. Because I'm finna hit y'all with something that might just take your kneecap smooth off. You know what I mean? Some of y'all need to hear this. And some of y'all need to know. <sighs> the cold truth is... uh. A lot of y'all don't know how to be on beat, man. I had to say it. I have to say, man, a lot of y'all don't understand timing. And that's okay. You understand what I'm saying? I said that's okay. Because, peep, what we do with dance, right, I feel like dance is a very generalized thing. And there's a lot of things that go into dance. And for the most part, the main focus is really only the things that we're doing on the athletic end and it's not even something that people really prioritize when it comes to the mental in terms of understanding a lot of the things that go into this shit. And one of the main components is understanding music. Now, I'm I'm always saying I'm blessed, OK, to have someone in my position uh, or to have someone to like for me to be in the position to have someone like Tabo to go over these things with me where I learned about timing way when I first started. I'm talking like when I was like 15. All right. Now, I always had Tabo to give me the verbal and Slim was always the person in the flesh doing it. You know what I mean? So anything that Tabo was saying, even if it didn't register, I was learning things off rip just from learning from Slim. But that's why I wanted to come with these series of videos where I'm talking, doing the thing right where I'm dropping knowledge and we go ahead and watch a video or we focus on something in particular, whether it be a battle or a showcase or I got these compilations now to go ahead and bring a primary focus, which in today's episode is going to be about rhythm. But to talk about rhythm and the things that go into it, I got to talk about timing first. And I want to talk about it before we watch the video. So you go into it with a proper understanding. OK. I'm going to break this up pretty fast, so I need you to try to keep it cool and, and stay locked in with your boy, all right? Don't lose me on this one, because I'm going I'm to I'm I'm hit you with this curveball shit, and maybe you new to this, and maybe you already familiar. But look, just go ahead and hear me out, all right? You got whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. Yo, man, what the fuck is that? All right, look, man, so the, the whole note, right, it's just one note. You already probably familiar with that. Just hit one note, okay? You follow that one note, that's all you need to worry about. Then you got half notes. Half notes, literally, if I were to break it down for you in popping, you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the whole note is literally just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You dig? Look, man, we finna speed right through that. I think y'all get that, right? Now we finna go into the quarter notes. The quarter notes is also pretty straightforward, you dig? You got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in the half notes, we just did one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So basically, it's in half. Half notes. Now we got the quarter notes. The next thing we going into is the eighth notes. 
Now, a lot of people I feel like operate within the eighth notes primarily. You know what I mean? If I'm seeing people dissect a lot of the things within timing, usually they go about it in a way where the more trickier things are within the eighth counts. Why? Because, or the eighth notes. Why? Because you have the and count. So look, we already broke down the quarter notes where we had one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now to speed it up a little bit, the eighth notes, you're going to start incorporating that and count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it's double of what the quarter notes are. You know what I mean? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and quarter. One, two, three, four, half. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two two three four one two three four eighth notes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now look i bet you thought the shit was over but it ain't you got 16th notes now you dig and uh <laughs> the 16th notes ain't for play play you dig this one is for the real you gotta understand what's going on within these 16th notes or you will fuck your shit up you dig what I'm saying? So I'm going to throw a little a little assist your way by helping you understand it a little bit easier possibly with the subdivisions. Now, the subdivisions is usually what you would use within the counts to help you count it a little bit easier. In the eighth notes, we had one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You dig? But the 16th is fast. 16th note is fast. So the E and a uh, helps you count it. But on each count there's there's a note so one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, you're not skipping nothing you're hitting everything i don't know how many of y'all is doing that but i basically wanted to throw that out there it's not something that i would literally say you need to literally understand and demonstrate it within your round but the more you understand it the more it resonates with how you listen to music because i've had people ask me do i count and i don't i understand this principle for music theory to a point where I don't need to know the song. I don't, I don't need, I don't need to count while I'm dancing. It's already something that's automatic for me due to just the understanding in the years of development within the dance. So peep, as a matter of fact, look, man, I'm finna, I'm finna chill out on this one and say this as smooth as possible. You know what I mean? So everything registers, you know what I mean? Cause this one right here, look, man, it got to walk the room a little bit before it get up to you like a besa, you know what I mean? And for you to properly understand, I wanna make sure that I say this as slow as possible. Cause this one might fly over that head. You understand what I mean? But go ahead and listen up and listen up good man. Timing again, we already said it's constant. You dig? The actual flow of your movement, okay? The actual flow of your movement. I feel like I'm at church. Do you mind if I preach a little bit? One more time now. The actual flow of your movement is the rhythm within the beat. One more time, my good sir. The actual flow of your movement is the rhythm within the beat. Now, rhythm is the actual flow of music or in this case, movement through time. Nah, y'all didn't catch. Rhythm is the actual flow of music, or in our case, movement through time. It's built upon the beat. So I'm gonna say the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? The actual flow of your movement is within the beat. Rhythm is the actual flow of music or movement through time time it's built upon the beat let me go ahead and let that walk the room a little bit to it marinate you understand what i'm saying because it's gonna click it's gonna click and when we watch these clips y'all gonna see what the fuck i'm talking about so before we watch the video i wanted to kind of throw that out there so you understand some of the counts and the rhythms that they're creating within these counts because the only thing within this that's really being developed is the rhythm within the music okay the rhythm is what's being created timing in itself is constant 
okay that that is something that you don't create it's already solidified so for me personally you're never gonna hear me say anymore that someone has good timing because that doesn't make sense okay timing is already there what you're seeing the person do is create rhythms which then you would say yo slim or whoever man that person is creating some crazy rhythms they have a mad understanding of timing you understand what i mean they're not doing timing that that so i i had to kick the facts for you i don't know who even made it this long but i felt like it was something something definitely was was uh calling for me to speak on this before i get to the video and uh we just gonna enjoy the motherfucker now so i'm gonna go ahead and just shut the fuck up i think y'all got it you know what i mean and uh we're gonna watch these motherfuckers work because trust me man i put together a good compilation your boy been busy go ahead and click this off with a bang though blow Link, talk to him. If you want to have somebody talk about music, interpretations, and sound, rhythms, you best watch. Yo! Nah. There's no way I was doing this video without Link. <laughs> Somebody shut him off. The the cool part about it is my man is grooving. Look at him. Switching up the flows. You see how constant the timing is, right? Yo, he just switched up the rhythms right here. Nice. The coordination within his movement is what makes it even more crazy because of how much he develops his isos between his shoulders, his chest, his legs, you know what I mean? To still all accent the sound within that rhythm. Nah. My man is too smooth with that, dog. Watch Slim cook, though. He did this motherfucker so dirty. Damn! <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yee! Check the feet. Damn! <laughs> Yo! Why all the goats be making this shit look easy as fuck? Nah, that was mad disrespectful. It's like these motherfuckers don't even be trying, but hold on. Tap in! Tap in! Y'all hear that? Nah, y'all don't hear that. Y'all don't hear that. Alex Cook. They don't hear you. They don't hear you, Alex Cook. We talking about rhythms, man. How could I not have Alex the Cage in this shit? Yee! Yo. Nah. <laughs> I'm so hyped to bring this shit back. Yo. Yo, why he switch the flow like that? He's nice. Yo, <laughs> that's always my favorite part, dog. Peep the timing within that and the rhythms he creates. Damn. Cook, Alex, cook. Yo, this is one of them rounds to me that's forever homework study material. 
You understand what I'm saying? Like the way I can dissect that round. Watch Avion cook. Yee! What is we talking about right now? You gotta have understanding of timing to be able to create like this, man. Yo! Avion, you bugging right now. Oh, no. Not the fake out. And I was here for this motherfucker. Talk to me, Avion. You can tell every time there's no reset within movement. It's a change in rhythm because they change their approach within the timing. I prefer that shit so much. Y'all thought it wasn't when it was. Yo. Yo. What the f <laughs> Yo. Have it caught a body is this motherfucker. Yo, <laughs> my nigga posing. Damn. Nah. Nah. What is we talking about right now, Havoc? Yo, 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 Havoc, you tweaking, doggy dog. I had to have this in the rotation. When we talking about rhythms and shit, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yo, Havoc. Oh, no. Havoc, nah. Nah, you had Salah pump. You can't do that. Look, man, let me go ahead and just calm myself down just a taste, man. I mean, can you blame me? You know what I mean? I said, can you blame me? You seen what I just put together to demonstrate rhythms, man. And then especially in situations like where we talk about hip hop or we talking about Havoc's roots within Flex, you got to understand cultures. You know what I mean? Because rhythms also de uh, derive from specific cultures where they have specific things that go into the rhythm that is culturally entwined. You know what I mean? Certain things you can't fuck with. Certain things you got to abide by the rhythms or the, 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 the history and the traditions within cultures. You know what I mean? So within the, the, the hip hop shit, or usually, like I said, within dance shit, most times if I'm seeing a motherfucker start getting tricky with some timing, normally they fucking with things within the space of an eighth note or they taking it to that next level with them 16th notes. You know what I mean? I'm trying to let y'all know that properly because when I watch this and I talk about maturity, there's a lot of things that I recognize within dance that I would not have been able to recognize earlier in the, in, in the years of my development. You know, I did not have the eye. Fortunately for me, again, I was, I was studying Slim so much where he already had an understanding of timing. So the way he demonstrated it, where I wasn't picking apart his movement, I was trying to literally understand the, the, the things that he was focusing on to create within said space. You know what I mean? So Tabo was able to give me that information as well as I said, the understanding of music. But at that time, I was too young. I did not understand the same things that I'm telling you guys right now. 
I did not understand it. And I, I let alone like in a round, you know what I mean? Where, like I said before, the reason why I want to categorize these things is because in a round, you can have so much where they give you different rhythms. They give you a mad amount of technique. You know what I mean? We talking about range and motion. We talking about all types of things. But in this particular instance, we focused on these rounds from a specific lens where we're focused on the rhythms. Go watch this joint again. You know what I mean? I guarantee you the amount of rhythm, the amount of times that they change and alter their rhythm to focus on accents, just beats in general, or to just ride uh, uh, the space within the timing. You know what I mean? Normally, I, 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 I can't stand that whole beat killing shit because to me, it just it just shows that people really don't know what they're talking about or they gravitate towards things that are being done in, in, a, in a normalized fashion by the masses. So these motherfuckers call it beat killing, I'm gonna call it beat killing. If I asked you what is beat killing, I'm gonna ask this next person what beat killing is and more than likely it just revolves around you just fucking going about the music to just accent everything that's in the space of the music for the timing. But in a sense, like that's the easy part. That's easy. If you get a track that you also more than likely already know, keep it a buck fifty. Um, you're more than likely gonna be the one to kill off all the sounds. You know what I mean? But try doing this. Go about the next time you practice and just get off to and count. Okay? Normally, a lot of people always land on twos and fours. That's the safe spot. You know what I mean? Boom, bang, boom, bang, bing. I'm I'm flowing all over the place. Land on a four. You know what I mean? I'm going to miss all those beats and land on a six. You know what I mean? It's always pretty easy to read when somebody will come back. But try to just last doing a whole round and count. Shit, before you even get to the and counts, just stay on odd counts. I don't want to hear you, see you land on one even count. You know what I mean? If you thought that you was getting into a place where you felt like you was running out of things, more than likely it revolved around material though, like your combos or, or, or just trying to find an abundance of movement, focus on timing. I'm pretty sure it'll change your whole dance. It'll change the whole way you structure your dance. Now that part to me is key because there are so many qualities within what you can layer on top of one particular move that there's no need to try to go about it in a way where you want to create just an abundance of moves. You can literally just try to create differences in your rhythms and you can change that one move that you're trying to uh, uh, create from a complex perspective instead of just de uh, developing something from a simplistic approach literally just altering the rhythms and changing your approaches within the timing i'm i i gear i put money on it if you don't figure it out after that it's literally just due to a lack of understanding within this space for music or if you if it's not developing i owe you five dollars if you can't develop nothing further i highly doubt that i highly doubt that you know what i mean i gave you link you you could I could have ended the whole compilation just off a of Lynx clip. Off of Lynx, I could have stopped the whole thing. We're done. That's enough for you. Now I put Slim after that. Go peep out the, the go peep out the whole compilation again and peep the the approaches within the timing that is constant. The song never changes. That's the easier part for us as listeners. You know what I mean? It's easier for us to gravitate towards specific sounds. You know what I mean? Stronger notes, weaker notes. It's easier for us to follow along with certain things where you hear a song and that sound automatically, you know what I mean, stands out to you. You know what I mean? But hit some of them weaker notes that is in the back that is subtle. And fuck it. You know what I mean? For those that made it this far, you don't even need the sounds. I will accent and counts when there's no sound there. So for me personally, me just giving y'all like some free game for how I go about stuff, I don't even care really what is happening in the music. I'm just letting that be known right now. I don't, I can't pick apart tempo just by listening and I can say, oh word, that's an 85 BPM. I ain't that good yet. But once I understand the tempo, like I said, the timing within music is constant, so it's never changing. Once I understand the counts, like I said, whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth notes, once I understand it, the music is doing its own thing. So as a dancer and as a composer or a producer, they put together a, 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 a series of beats 
or sounds layered on top of each other to create their approach within the rhythms for timing within that BPM, within that tempo. Now I'm going to go about it in a way where I hear what they're doing and I can also accent space within the timing that either is going to match with what they're providing or I'm creating within the space so I'm on beat regardless. But you might only associate being on beat with literally only dancing to the sounds within the music. That's cool, there's, there's always multiple approaches. But I'm letting it be known right now, a lot of the people that only rely on sound, they probably don't have proper understanding of placements within music, which is the timing. That is to create various rhythms within a song. You know what I mean? If I'm going about it where I'm talking about a rap track, you know what I mean? I'm going to do y'all another solid. Buster Rhyme, stay up in the house. You got Buster and Raw Digger, right? When I'm hearing Bust Spit, automatically he's already giving me a type of energy, a type of vibe that has me moving a certain way. As soon as Raw Digger pull up on the mic, you know what I mean? My flow, my rhythms that I'm creating is an entirely different vibe because of her approach to the music. Same beat though, and it's the same principle. You can go about the beat, dance to the same song two different ways, but don't dance to it the same way that you did the first way. Look, I can talk about this all day, man. I don't even know who made it this far, but look, I didn't get too many responses on the last one. So this is for the real ones. You know what I mean? I'm only trying to do y'all solid and drop this knowledge on y'all. But if you made it this far, I need a fat, a fat G-G-W-A-B. That stands for all the honeys. Good God, what a booty. You know what I mean? Look, man, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. I don't know how much of this is going to register properly for your boy, but let me know. Let me, I'm going to see you on the comments, right? Look, please, if you made it this far, like the video and comment. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here, all right? I know y'all not going to let me down. Peace.